Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. Um, we're gonna talk about Arrived. I signed up for it. All right, am I in browsing mode? Yep. All right, uh, remember when I was telling you that, that BlackRock and stuff like that would be buying single family homes? Well, I found out how they're gonna do it. So uh, this, is, this is how they're gonna do it. Uh, so 339 properties. Now, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna sound like a, a, please take this in context, but please try to understand, un understand this. I, Nick Rochford, if I worked hard enough, I could assemble a portfolio of about 200 to 300 properties with a, with a gang of friends. That's in my grasp. It's not crazy to talk about, okay? Also, Grant Cardone is getting called out by the fucking CEO of T-Mobile. Check that shit out. I've been saying Grant Cardone, the, the debt maxing shit like that. And I'm not talking about Sam's credit maxing. I'm not talking about my boy. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about these motherfuckers doing it with real estate. All right? I'm talking about guys who do, uh, do it with ideas. Is all right? Grant Cardone, he's, like all, he's all about renting? He's, he's all about, I don't own a house. I he's, his, his whole idea smelled like shit to me from day one. You can go back to PGL. I know guys like that. I know these fucking idiots that borrow. They and I like uh, honestly for the first time I liked Robert Kiyosashi, the the rich dad poor dad guy. Yay, ski, yay. Who that? I'm an investor. All right. I never. I don't buy things. I don't use other people's money unless I, I'm a hundred percent sure I can pay them back. Okay. Um, I don't buy things unless I know I can afford them. Uh, I've done that before. Uh, I invest in things that I think I can get out of. God forbid. I give myself a. You know, it, I, I invest in rugs, right? I'll spend 25, 35, 45, 55, 65 thousand dollars in rugs. I'm not sad if I have a pile of old rugs because I know what these fucking assholes in uh, Boston, New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco sell them for. I'm fine with that. I'm comfortable. I've done it for long enough where I'm comfortable enough. And I've, I've probably real cash to cash. I probably invested more money in rugs than I, than I have in fucking. But when people debt max, well, that's why I never, I, I never say put 3% down. I don't even, I always say like put, put, get yourself, keep yourself above above the water, all right? This is the equity, right? People who are stupid and do that Grant Cardone shit, they're up to the top of their, their what did I say? The, you're up to the top of your top lip in debt. You call that underwater in the car business. You're fucking underwater. I put no money down. Okay, the car drops, you're underwater. You're drowning, okay? Now your debt to income ratio is all fucked up. You're literally, you're, you're unlendable. You're, you're in the fucking ocean. You are like, you have to be in an equity position. Now, that being said, this is the fucking scam they're running. This is 338 properties. They've taken in $125 million worth of uh, investment seed, of seed money from uh, Mark Benioff from Salesforce, who's, I don't know, top 30 richest guys, all right? Uh, Jeff Bezos and this fucking corny ass pussy. Now, they're do uh, the, the CEO's like, I can't stand the, the CEO. Look at these dumps. These fucking dumps they're getting. Now, this is fractional investment. Okay, fractional ownership investments. So you give 100 bucks. There's one called Landvest that I kept my eye on a couple of years ago. I've talked about it on the stream a few times. All right. There, there used to be this one called Art. Uh, there's an art one where you can buy like blue chip art. All right. I would never do that either. All right. I have shit over there. I have Keith Herring marker drawings over there. I have a Frank Stella with oil paint. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I want it on the walls. You can't buy it for three, four, five grand and you can't afford it, you don't buy it, all right? But by giving someone 1,500 to buy a 10th of a piece so you never get to hang in your living room, get the fuck out of here. Buy a print and have it in your house and have a representation of it. They're fucking dumps. These are fucking dumps, guys, okay? This is a fucking grift, all right? This is how they do this. And I, the, Naming a, a little, the Riverwood. The, the Riverwood. You know what I'd call it? A fucking dump. I, I, they had a call yesterday. I'm so pissed I missed it. I, I, I'm going to find them and I'm going to go there public. I'm going to be the, I'm going to be like a fucking, like a trans rights activist at a fucking, uh, at a, like a, a right wing uh, rally for these guys. These guys are not going to want to see my purple haired ass running up the fucking aisle with questions. I'm going to be, I, it's going to be like a Candace Owens fucking, uh, it is going to be a nightmare. The Saturn, you like that one? The Saturn, the Saturnian color, these, these toilets. Okay. Now look at this. The purchase price is two fifteen. Okay. What's the square footage on this this fucking this toilet? All right. L w wait till you see this. Like wait till you see this this fleecing. All right. This is the best part right here. Right here. Here we go. Hypothetical returns. All right. And it's all based on this right here. Where is it? The Zillow. Come on, give it to me, you piece of shit little blip about the market of Charlotte, this Zillow property index. It is the most easily manipulatable piece of shit I've ever seen, all right? 
You buy 10 guys worth of pork. You don't even buy them. You can just basically, I'm sure you can quick claim deed them. I'm sure there's like a way to basically take, like say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a homeowner. I have like 10 houses. Chris is an investor. He's got 25 houses. You're an investor. You got 35. I own them, right? I haven't leveraged against them. There's no bank in what's called first position. So here's the house. Here's the title of the house, right? I own it clear. My name is Nick Rochard. It'll be right here. I'm first. That's called first position. I'm the guy who owns it. Now say I didn't. Say I had a mortgage, right? Say, and then the first position would be Bank of America Mortgage. They have first position. They, they own the house, right? When you say you never own a house, that's true. That's right. But there is, you know, obviously like if the house is worth 330,000, you have a mortgage for 270, this is what you own, right? That's like the block of equity, okay? This is the opposite of that. This is a house that they bought cash or with investor funds for 187,000. The property purchase price is 215. I doubt it. Property improvements and cash is at bullshit, bullshit. Total property right here. Sourcing fee, so that's one time, that's a realtor costs. Closing costs, offering costs, and hold, uh, that's like all of it's just fluff to pay for the bullshit. Now I've already, look, look, at the, look at this, look at this bullshit return. Imagine if I came to you. Imagine if a friend came to you and was like, hey dude, you give me a thousand dollars and then in seven years, it's 18, basically I, you're gonna have $1,800. Imagine a billionaire selling fractional ownership as an investment opportunity. Don't you just want to get crazy? Don't you just want to get crazy? What does that guy sound like? <laughs> hey, you guys want to buy a house? So, you just graduated college and you were the little lady you want to buy a house. Cool. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> I need something to make me feel good. Really, really normal. Do you want to touch me down there? <laughs> Do you want to touch me down there? Please. Please touch me down there. It's, it's such bullshit. Okay? Now, let me ask you guys this. I, I'll say this. Let, let me throw this up. 135 investors. It's 100% funded. So, this is all fluff for stock price. All right? I can just tell right at right. Learn. All right. Let's see how it works. You can't take your money out for six months. I know that. I found that out already. All right, the old way to buy, it's, it's unbelievable. Ryan Frazier's this, like this guy. This is a fucking fleecing. This girl right here, so this chick, she's running Airbnbs and she only has 10 Airbnbs at a time. I found the Airbnb, they have so invest, right? So you can do vacation rentals. Now here's the fun part. Look at these fucking vacation rentals. Look at these things. Like this one, this is an old house, right? Built in 87. Some of them are, you can tell they were a, you can tell that someone just bought a portfolio, right? Staged photos, right? This house is, this one, this like doesn't fit the mold. So you can tell like the wheels, this is a little sloppy. Like the plan is, is very sloppy. I can like, you can see the pulls in the sweater. All right. But, but it's nasty, nasty shit. All right. Fractional ownership should be clowned upon. Please God, everybody in this fucking stream clown on fractional ownership, please. Don't ever, ever, ever do any, and I know stocks, that's why I don't do stocks, I don't do this shit. I like tangibles, all right? A friend of mine, Rich, he was a, a friend of mine's father was an art dealer. He goes, you guys do real estate? You can't pick up a house, put it in the mail and sell it, okay? And I understand that, right? I can, I, I wanna sell, I wanna sell a rug, you get a rug, all right? You want a Chinese, I'm not, I'm not gonna break this, but you want, a, you want a Chinese vase, okay? You want a Chinese vase with a crab on it? I can put this in the mail and sell it to you. You get to put the vase on, you get to put your flowers in it. That's real, all right? Tangibles. You can call me stupid, you can call me old, you can call me, it is what it is, all right? Um, fractional real estate ownership, we should be laughing our fucking asses off at it. And, and people are like, oh, I put my whole, four, it's, 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 it's a better performer than a 401k. Blow me, fucking blow me. I'll take, I'll take any crypto in the dark like this, any crypto over this crap. And not, never mind the fleecing that's happening. So the, the, the part that I'm really jerked off about is the 393 houses and $125 million investment. How much is Ryan Frazier sucking right off the top in a salary? How much is that other kid, that fucking loser, this dork? The CEO right here, like, uh... Oh my God. The baby. This is the baby. This is the baby. Skee -yee. It's written by Ryan Frey, updated this week. But uh, the fact that Jeff Bezos is even playing in this, it's like, why do these fucking billionaires always have to be like so fucking demonic? 
Like every time, like a billionaire's move, like why can't you just go whitewater rafting Demonic? or something? Yeah. Demonic? Demonic. Yeah. Is that a word? What does demonic rhyme with? Oh. It rhymes with ski. <laughs> it rhymes with ski. Oh. Oh, well, I just got the, I just sold my basketball team. You know what it's time for? To milk of the poor. <laughs> I want to milk children. I just don't get, I don't get it, man. I really, really don't get it. And it bothers me so much. Yeah, it bothers, it bothers me more than anything because like it's right in my, it's, this, is, this is like, this is insulting, right? This is if I could buy five houses. Now, let me, let me, let me ask you guys this. Let me, let me, let me run this by you. I, I have a plan. I'm going to build the coolest house that I can. Okay. Let's just say that's my plan. I'm going to build the coolest ranch for like $500,000. Okay. I'm going to lose money as a for-profit business, I'm going to show you that by building a cool house in order to sell it, in order to make like a house that people would be proud to own, I will show you dollar for dollar and match for match how if I were to do this for-profit, it wouldn't work if the house is respectable and worth it, okay? If I were to come to you guys as a, an investment group, the 2,000 people that are in here, the 25,000, whatever, the people that watch, would you guys give me $100 to own five very dope houses in Rhode Island. If I were to build five different, really cool five to $700,000 houses that would essentially be rented long-term or Airbnb out at a profit on top of the money if owed, I wouldn't do it. I would never do that because I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be excited as a guy who'd be like, oh, cool, thanks for the thousand bucks. Here's 1800 back in seven years. I know you can go out there and do something smarter and better. I just know you can. I don't want your, but would you be interested in that? I would never offer would it because be I'm not a fucking demon. But I can't believe a billionaire's got enough time to... I, I can't believe a, a, a billionaire's got enough time to do this. Like, oh, no, no, I'm gonna fuck my news lady wife. I'm just gonna fuck my news lady Nick, wife. Nick, you're no. scaring me. What, well, how do you do that? How are you making that voice? Oh, I'm very good at voices. <laughs> 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 <laughs>